only recent ones that I have. After 30 years on Louisiana's death row, Glenn Ford was released with a shrug. The warden said it was a minor mistake made and on, on their behalf, and he was sorry. Gave me a $20 debit card, shook my hand, and they released me. A minor mistake? Yeah. What, what, what did you mean, minor mistake? I don't know. I didn't even want to question him. I was accepted for what it is and got on. He walked out of Angola a free man today. Ford's first steps from Angola prison in March of last year were covered on the local news. State authorities said evidence had emerged that Ford was neither present at nor a participant in the murder of a Louisiana jeweler in 1983. A year on, Ford is thinner. He'd just received a new diagnosis from his doctor. My cancer had spread to my ribs, to my spine, and maybe to my brain. The state says if it knew then what it knows now, Ford may never have been arrested or indicted. But the record shows there had always been clear evidence that others committed the murder, and yet they kept him on death row. The lie cost me 30 years. And it's still happening. Again. Under state law, Ford is eligible for a maximum of $330,000 in compensation. That's around $11,000 for each year wrongfully behind bars. It won't even cover his medical bills. But the Louisiana Attorney General is contesting Ford's claim, arguing compensation may be denied without the state proving any fact. The petitioner, on the other hand, must prove a negative he must prove that he did not commit any crimes based upon the set of facts used in the original conviction. The Attorney General declined to be interviewed, but Ford must now prove he didn't handle any goods stolen at the time of the murder, a charge not proven at his trial. Ford now lives at a refuge for former death row prisoners set up by John Thompson, himself exonerated after an 18-year sentence, 14 spent on death row. He has little faith in a justice system that can snatch decades from the innocent. They want to play God, they want to screw over your life. And people that did this, you know what they did? They didn't send their children off to college. Glenn Ford is destitute. And whatever time I have left, I would like to spend a few months with my family while I'm active. I'm there in California and I'm here. And I have no means of going there. The litigation is expected to last for several more months at least. Shihabritansi, Al Jazeera, New Orleans.